Hi, boys and girls. It is time for story today. Oh, let's look at the cover of this book. What do you think this story is about today? What are some things that you notice on the cover of our book when we look at the picture? I see some animals. I see a dog, a bird. It's like a little hamster or gerbil. There's a cat. Hey, what's this? Oh, there's a fly. There's a fly on the dog's nose. Well, the title of our book today is When the Fly Flew In. When the Fly Flew In, that's the title. The author of our book is Lisa Westberg Peters. Author. What's the author's job in a book? The author writes the words. Yeah, they write the story. And the illustrator is Brad Sneed. The illustrator. What's the illustrator's job again? The illustrator draws the pictures. So, well, maybe we should look and see if it's a full spread. Is our story a full spread today? Does the picture go straight across both pages? Not today. There's two different pages, two different pictures on these pages, huh? Sure is. All right, before we read our book, let's get our bodies ready. Are you ready? Hands up. And we will sing. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, boys and girls. Everybody is looking uh, looking ready to hear our story when the fly flew in. Has the story started yet? Not yet. What's this page called? The title page. Oh, and this is the dedication page. So when the author wrote this book, they dedicated it to someone. They said, oh, we made this special book thinking about someone special. And this book was for Nate. That's who the author dedicated the book to. And the illustrator, he dedicated the book to his grandparents, um, Glenn and Eunice Johnson and Raymond Sneed. That's who he dedicated the book. That's who he was thinking about when he wrote this book. Ah, now the story has started. In a quiet room, a dreaming dog wagged his tail. A fuzzy cat snoozed a plump hamster napped in a shoe and a sleepy parakeet the parakeet is the bird uh whistled on the bedpost i can't clean my room a child whispered to his mother all the animals are sleeping oh i'll clean it later this room is a little bit messy huh and why couldn't the child clean the room all of the animals were sleeping. Yeah. Oh. When a fly flew in, the dog opened an eye. There's the fly. Wiggled a whisker. The whisker are the little hairs that come out near the nose. Then leaped up to catch it. Do you think the dog will be able to catch the fly? Let's find out. The fly turned left and the dog's tail sent a dozen dinosaurs sailing. Oh no. Then the fly turned right and the dog's tail swept off a mountain of muddy pants and crusty socks. What's happening to this room? It's getting more messy. Then the fly turned in circles. The dog's tail pushed off a pile of moldy apple cores and banana peels. But the fly was always one turn ahead of the dog. <gasps> Did the dog catch the fly yet? No, no. But the dog is knocking lots of things around the room. When the fly buzzed by the cat, the cat streaked after it. Now the cat's going to try and catch the fly. 
The fly zigged and the cat zagged. The fly zagged and the cat zigged. But the fly was always a zig or zag ahead of the dust mop cat. Ugh. Did the cat catch the fly? Mm -mm. The cat. How's the cat looking right now? Look at the cat's face. How's it looking? Oh, it's looking a little tired, isn't it? When the fly stopped to nibble on a cookie, a little cookie crumb in the closet, the hamster took notice. The hamster didn't care about flies, but it did care about cookies. He shooed the fly away and ate the crumb in the closet. Then the raisins on the radio. <laughs> Even the popcorn inside the party hat. So the hamster's in the party hat. See, you can see his bottom right here. He's in the party hat eating some popcorn. But the fly always stayed one nibble ahead of the hamster. <laughs> when the fly zipped around the ceiling, the parakeet, the parakeet's the bird, watch closely because watching flies is a bird's business. But she couldn't watch any longer. Zoom, she swooped into a corner full of cobwebs. Zap, she flapped behind the curtains thick with more webs. Why would there be spider webs in, in a bedroom? Hmm, why would there be spider webs? What do you think? Who could have built those spider webs? Maybe a spider? Yeah, maybe. The parakeet gobbled up the spiders and their webs trailed from her wings like kite strings. So the webs, because when the bird flew into the spider web, the webs got stuck on her wings. So now they're on her wings in the back when she's flying. But the fly was always one web ahead of her. And there's the fly, so little. In a quiet room, a dog twitched his tail as he dreamed about flies. A cat curled up her coat, licked clean. A hamster settled down for a second nap. A weary parakeet fluffed her feathers. The fly flew out. <laughs> and the room was clean. Oh my goodness. Look at this. All the animals are resting now because when they were chasing after the fly, look, the parakeet, when it flew into all the spider webs, wiped them all off the walls, right? Pretty silly. Got them all out of the curtains. Pretty silly. And the animals, the little hamster ate all the scraps that were on the floor. Got the room a bit clean, huh? Yeah, the beginning it was looking a little messy though, wasn't it? Here's the beginning. There's toys all over the floor. You know, some clothes up here, right? All the food on the desk. And let's see what happened. Ready? Take a peek. All those things were on the desk. And when the dog wagged his tail, whoosh, the mess, what would the mess have fallen into? The trash, right? That was a big mess in that room, huh? Yeah. All right, friends. Well, I hope that you enjoyed our story when the fly flew in. But now, my friends, it's time to say goodbye. So everybody get your waving hands up. Can you give me a royal wave just like this? A nice royal wave beautiful job. All right, and then we're going to sing our goodbye friends song. Are you guys ready? I'll sing goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye boys and girls. See you soon.